Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the most important data structures, which is an advanced data structure called tri. This is one of the most important data structures in terms of not only used within the industry, but also uh, one of the most common uh, data structures, underlying data structures that is asked in interviews, right? Most of the problem solvings that you will do based on various types of problems, like based on strings, definitely use tri data structure underneath. Right. We are going to discuss and explain the entire try data structure and also look at all the operations insert, delete, search and also delete has multiple cases like it is a complex data structure. So we are going to walk through all of them at the end of the video also. So let's get started. So now first let's look at what are the kind of features. Right. So we know autocomplete feature for example. Right. When Whenever do, we are doing a search we know how autocomplete works. Right. Or let's say there is a web browser history right or we know of spell checker right what do these have in common they all underneath use the try data structure and there are multiple other use cases right in the real world also and like i mentioned it's one of the most common asked questions commonly asked interview questions so what exactly is try data structure right try data structure is a tree based data structure which is basically to store and efficiently search and retrieve strings Right. Primarily, it is based on strings. Uh, if we look at a tri data structure, something like this, right, uh, which is a tree, it has a root, it has leaves, it has children, it has everything that a tree data structure uh, has. Uh, but what it stores are characters within each node. But it is not exactly one character at a node, and we are going to look at how the node is next. A tri node let's say so when we are talking about strings right uh, at that point of time uh, strings can like characters can be of anything it can be case sensitive it can be a to z 0 to 9 can also be considered as characters within a string then there are alphanumeric characters then there are symbols right so for the sake of simplicity let's say that our tri data structure will only contain small alphabets right a to z small alphabets so let's say it only our data structure only contains a to z in small a node in a tri data structure is something like this right which is basically every node has an array of pointers for each of the characters that you are going to store right so at any node it has so say let's say we are storing small alphabets a to z right so we are going to have 26 array pointers uh, each of the positions filling A, B, C, up till Z, right? So now let's look at if we have to apply this and let's look at all the operations. First, let's say that we are going to insert a word called dad, right? Now, uh, we already, it's a tree data structure, so we already have a root. From the root, we are first going to insert the letter B, right? So how will that get inserted? A node, a node that has all the character array pointers A to Z, but D is the only position that is filled, right? That indicates that that node only contains D character, right? And, but is D a, a leaf in the tree? No. So we mark it as false. And is only D a word, right? We are not considering that as a word. So we are going to mark it as our word count is zero. The next character is A, right? So now from D, we are going to move to the next node, insert another node. And that node itself also is going to contain 26 characters, 26 array pointers from A to Z, but only A is going to be filled, right? Uh, but is this a leaf node? No, right? So it is leaf is false. And are we considered considering D A, like DA as a word? No, right? So word count is also zero here. Now the third character is again D, we are going to insert another node and again fill the position of D uh, in that array of 26 pointers. Now we have inserted dad, right? And is this a leaf? Yes, it is a leaf, right? And are we considered dad as a word in our tree? Yes, we are considering dad as a word in our tree. So we are going to mark this as one, right? So at the like D A D, the third character which is D, at that point of time we are marking that we have a word there starting from root. So if it if anyone travels from root, 
to uh, the third node D, we know that there is a word starting from there. Right? So that word is that. Now let's take another example on top of this itself. Let's say we are inserting day. We already have dad in our tree, right? Now let's say we want to insert day. And notice D A is already there, right? In the in the in our existing tree. So D A D and D A Y. So the only difference is the last character, which is Y. So we already have D, we already have A. So that means we only need to insert Y. How are we going to insert Y? Yes, it is after A. We are going to insert, insert another node and fill the position of Y as true, right? And is this a leaf? Yes, it is a leaf. And we are going to mark the word count there as also one. Right? So whoever is traversing the tree, if they are looking at only the first node D, they're going to say that, uh, yeah, it's not a word, it's not a leaf. If they are looking at D, A, Da, it's not a word, not a leaf. But if they are looking at dad, yeah, it's a leaf and it, it, at that D also we have a word. If they are looking at day, y, it, y is a leaf and at y also from root, there is a word, right, day, right. So that is how the tree is getting uh, constructed. Now let's look at a search operation. Interesting because search is one of the most important operations that you are going to do because the entire game is around searching uh, uh, for uh, for various kind of applications search it is an efficient search alg uh, algorithm and data structure so let's look at searching dad right now if we have to search dad and look carefully we are going to search by character by character right so our first character that we are searching for is d and our current node is starting at root node right what we are trying to do here are we are trying to figure out from root is there a child node that has D pointer filled, right? So, which means current node dot child node of D is null or not null. We are looking for something which is not null, right? Is there one? It is, there is, right? So, we get the D and our current node moves to that child, right? What is the next character that we are looking for? We are looking for A. Same process continues. Is this node, does this node have a child node with a a character pointer as not null, right? Is there? Yeah, there is. So we move our current node to that node and we already got da, right? Da. Now we are looking for again D. It, does this node have a child node where the D character array pointer is not null? It is there and we are getting the entire word as that and the current moves uh, node moves to uh, the last D. Right. I remember at this point of time, this node we have marked as a leaf node and we have also marked that this node at this point, we are going to count word count as one. Right. So when we reach this point, we can figure out that, yeah, we have already got that. And yes, there is a word that is ending from root to dad, we dot heard D. So we already found and searched that. Right. Also notice another thing. What are the prefix based searches? Right. So all words with prefix da, right, like dad and day, right, are present. So you can, if given a problem, like uh, there are multiple bunch of you know, strings, uh, figure out all the strings which have a common uh, prefix, say whatever, right, and that is so easy here, because you already know the uh, ancestor nodes, you already know, at da, whatever you are searching for the prefix, at that point of time, all the children that are, uh, uh, at this point uh, with the prefix after the prefix are all the words that are there right so it's very easy so if the question is how many the number is the number of children what are the words you can traverse through and get the words right so that's search now let's look at delete right so for delete we are going to take a complex tree and we are going to consider that this tree has uh, six words right so our tri data structure currently has six words now delete like I mentioned has very complex operations which is where some of the senior engineer or SD2 level questions are around delete where basically you have to reconstruct the tree uh, that is because of the complexity that is there. So we need to understand what are the four cases right there are multiple cases. The first case is the word that you are going to delete does not share any prefix with any other uh, other word right. So basically for example say an in the in the uh, in the tree that we have 
and is not shared with any other because we are not considering a as a word the only word is an and from root to n that entire thing that an word is not sharing any uh, prefix with any other word right case two is the word is a prefix of another word like for example boy on the on the right hand side is the entire word is a prefix of another word which is boys right so that is another case if you have to delete boy how will we do that third case is the word shares some of the nodes with other nodes right for a, a other word like for example if you want to delete dad right so in dad da da is the common part it is sharing the d and a the first d and a nodes with other words like day and days right so if you have to delete dad how will we delete that without disrupting day and days right and the fourth case is the other word is a prefix of this word right for example say uh, we want to delete days right but day is a prefix inside that right so if you have to delete days how will we delete days without disrupting day right there are four cases so let's take case by case in the first case uh, word does not share any prefix with the other word right so which means like we mentioned we have an here since it doesn't have any prefix our straightforward solution here is we'll delete all the nodes right so it doesn't impact that's the only word and we can delete the nodes to remove the word from our tri data structure the second case is word is a prefix of other word right for example if we are considering boy right boy is a prefix of another word boys right but we know that at this node our word count is one so what is the solution how we can delete the word boy from our tree without disrupting boys right uh, thus the way to do that is we don't delete any node we just mark the word count as zero that word count is the variable that is pointing whether we have a word ending at y starting from root right if we are saying that uh, there is no word so that basically means that we are not considering boy as a word in our tri data structure the letters can be there but it's not exactly a word right so that is case 2 now let's look at and uh, word shares some nodes with other node right like for example dad like we discussed in dad the d and a the first d and a is shared with other words like day and days right so how will we delete dad without disrupting day and days so the only thing that is not common with other words is the third character which is d right so if we just delete that node that means that d the first d and a is still there in the tree uh, and it is still uh, valid for day and days but our dad is uh, deleted right so which basically means you delete all the nodes that are not shared uh, with other words right in this case and the fourth case is the other word is a prefix of this word like for example if you want to delete boys boys has another word boy which is also a word right in the data structure and that is a prefix the entire uh, the other word is a prefix right so how will we delete boys without disrupting boy fair and simple we can just delete s right so all the nodes that are not shared with the other word other uh, common word of the prefix can be deleted all those nodes right so that deletes boys right so that's our tri data structure let's look at the complexities uh, so that is important because when you are actually doing the prefix based search or autocomplete features or those kind of uh, questions uh, you have to do a trade off between complexities and try is one of the best complexities in terms of search and character uh, autocompleting and all those features prefix based searching and all so the time complexity is o of n for insert search and delete and space complexity is o of 1 because remember we are not actually using any auxiliary space for searching or deleting in the tree right and it's o of 1 where n is basically the size of the string that you if you are considering dad so the n is 3 at that point if you are considering boys uh, n is 4 right so it's that uh, the size of the string 
So that is tri data structure. It is very important data structure. Hopefully this was useful.